Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it, right? And as you can tell by today's thumbnail, dig right to the dig start, wobble, wobble, wobble. Man, we're going to talk about internet trolls, right? It's a subject, talked about a little bit, but I never gave really my perspective, my point of view on it. It's such a frivolous topic that I thought, if for no other reason, I should never touch on this situation because I never wanted to find myself caught up in the situation, right? But at the same time, it seems like, ain't no mountain high enough. As you continue to climb the mountain of YouTube, right? Not saying that I'm any better than anyone else and I support all channels Rasa related in anyone pushing and striving for the betterment of themselves and the people around them as and the Rasa for sure, first and, first and foremost. Um, trolls, right? Sasuke, growing up as a kid, I always thought a fucking troll was a... Sasuke, hey, my precious. Right? A weirdo. Um, but now it's become prevalent in today's society. People that clout chase that are trolls for one reason or another, or another, trying to benefit and get monetary gains off another person's name or another person's stilo. You know what I mean? I can't help it. They like my style. You know, I can't help it if someone else likes somebody else's style. That's cool, man. You know, flattery, um, flattery comes in many different forms. You know, it seems like imitation is the best form of flattery. Uh, so when people try to imitate you or troll you for one reason or another, you know, it boggles the mente and the mind of someone that's never been involved in them type of things. You know, now, of course, I find myself, you know, the gun gun uh, in situations where I clap back. You know, I've never been one to start friction, start tension, to talk, to wolf shit about another individual just based on, you know, I show respect and respect is given to everybody, especially when it comes to this YouTube community, because you got to understand, man, everyone is taking time out of their day to make content, to research. It's a lot of hard work, bro. It's not very easy or very simple. Yet, of course, you have certain individuals that sit back, want to record your lives, record your YouTube content, flip it, twist it, strike it, reverse it, you know, whatever they want to do, put words in your mouth, put 10 on the two after they're done hitting the 10 to two and switch the situation up. Now, you know, not everybody has to like me. Not everyone has to like the next man. Not everyone has to like you, right? But at the end of the day, who cares? You know, no man could judge you. We all know who could judge you, and that's about it. And only you can be judged by that person and yourself, right? You have to look in the mirror every day and say to yourself, Sasuke, está feo este vato. You know what I mean? Only you can do that. But it seems like nowadays, man, it's a trend, right? It's a new trend. It's part of the Joto generation, right? Um, or the homie generation, where they want to judge you everybody wants to be in your mix everybody wants to swing off of your print right and it seems like i find myself time and time again caught up in the situation by individuals that are not even from califas individuals that have never politicked been on them yardas uh been in the mix been in them streets about that gang gang shit motherfuckers that just don't know right and, and, and it's kind of pathetic but at the same time man pobrecitos i feel sorry for the individuals because it's like damn bro if you ain't got no content, Sasuke, watch out. I'm going to give you the recipe right here. Sasuke, go out there, steal a payday candy bar. You know what I mean? Is there 911? Hey, my, yeah, yeah, I'm that baboso with the, with the mask on. Yeah, I'm the one that stole the payday bar. Yeah, can you come get me so I can go to, to jail and then I can get some more stories like Gunner and the rest of the fellas? Simon? <laughs> Simon, I'll hold, right? This is the type of things that these individuals are in. This is the recipe if you want to go out there and get that prison-based content. Now, that's a box. Let me tell you about the caja. Not everyone wants to be included in the prison genre, the prison-based content genre, because there's stipulations to that, and there's handcuffs to that, things that hold you within that realm, and your shit on YouTube only gets shot out to certain people. And Sasuke, you have to think outside of the box. Sasuke, think outside of Make a run for the border. Think outside of the box, okay? Don't always put yourself in the mix of things that you don't know about because there's repercussions for every action. And if you ain't ready for this real life shit, Sabasuke, real life will come and bite you real quick. Okay. Um, 
But besides all that, enough of giving intelligence and giving education to individuals that don't want to grasp it, that just want to heed your word, take it, flip it, turn it, and make some feria off it, right? Now, I'm for everyone making feria. At the end of the day, man, get your money, boo-boo. Get your money, right? Get it however you're going to get it. But remember, like I said, there's repercussions for every action, okay, in life. And you never know who's behind that scope. You never know who's behind that camera. You never know where an individual has been in his life, where he's going, what he's done, what he can do. So when you judge a man on his merits, that's fine. When you judge a man on the unknown, that isn't fine, Holmes, because it's unknown. And you just never know. I myself don't tend to do that. Like I said, and I've always pumped this first and foremost since I started my very first channel. I always... Show everybody, no matter where you're from, respect. Because at the end of the day, we're all the same. We're all pushing and rocking that good rhyme. We're all pushing an agenda for the gente, for the raza. No matter how your delivery is, and everybody's different, you know. So I was you know how I do mine. I'm a dick, to the dick, nah. right? Everyone pushes it different. But for some reason, nowadays, it's become accepted to be a rata, to tell on everybody in the world. It's become accepted to troll people on their internet, to get in their lives, to get in their mix, to get in their family's lives, right? Come on, no, 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 that's a no-no, okay? If you're about your gangster shit, homes, supposedly like all these guys say that are trolls, oh, I'm really about that life, I'm really about my situations, you're not gone, but I am, okay, well, if you really are, then you would know the unspoken rule is leave families out of it, leave citizens out of it, a gangster, homes is a gangster out there on the guys, but familia and citizens and people that are just out there being productive members of society, so I was scared, leave them individuals alone, homes. It doesn't make you a man to go out there and fucking troll them and be a piece of shit to them, right? When they haven't, they don't even know you. So I was scared, they don't know nothing about you, you know, wearing masks and wearing fucking contact lenses and painting eyebrows. Charlie, bro, you know, be a man, be yourself. You know, that's the only thing I could tell you. If you want to continue to be a troll because you've seen fucking Takashi 6 9 do it with his rainbow hair and all his fake tattoos and, and Sasuke, the wobble, 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 then that's cool. Go out there and do that, you know. But watch yourself and your dealings with certain individuals, man, because you can get caught up. You can get discovered, Vato. You can get found out. And Vato's could be like, no, nah, he's not home. I won't hold, right? And then they come in. You don't want to put yourself in that situation. I know I don't want to put myself in this situation. And that's why I shy back from all that. You know, I don't like to get caught up in the mix. Everything I do, and I've told everyone from the gate, it's all about capping. It's all for, let me explain capping. For those of you that don't know that you ain't from the 80s and the 90s. See, back then we used to de do a thing called capping. All the homeboys would get together. And it's called clowning, right? Capping, kind of, okay, your mom's so fat. You know what I mean? She got hit by a truck and said, who threw the rock? You know what I mean? Your mom got a wooden leg with a kickstand. So I was scared your mom got a glass leg. She uses Windex for lotion. So I was scared your whole house smells like Agada. That's why I always rock the Febreze. You know what I mean? Menudo. It was called capping back in them days. See, but what happened is these guys take it too hard. It's called being butt hurt, right? They take it too hard. They feel like you're constantly talking about them. They feel like anything that comes out of your mouth because they don't agree with the words that you speak pertains to them. So I was scared don't no one care about you. Okay, at the end of the day, no one cares. Your half I probably doesn't care. She's in there with Tyrone, you know what I mean? Or Herman or Melvin or whoever the other fucking dude she's with. No one cares, okay? So what you have to do is care about yourself because at the end of the day, you are all you got. I learned that a long time ago. See, when I was a young man, man, striving in the California Youth Authority, striving in YA by myself, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I was on my own. I wasn't getting visitas and feria and all that. You know what I mean? I was hustling in there, making it happen, going to the oil, getting out the oil, handling my shit behind the handball court, handling my shit in the blinas, respecting the enemiga, but knowing the enemiga didn't respect me as much as I respected them. But knowing at the end of the day, man, they did have some type of form of fashion of respect for me. And I made it happen. Like, Sasuke, if you're not going to respect me, I'm going to earn mines. You know, I'm going to earn my name. I'm going to earn everything that I got coming to me. I'm not just going to go out there and expect it because you can expect it or expect the unexpected. That's up to you. But as far as these internet trolls, you know, I think it first blew up with this vato. Dig right to the... Oh, then they say unitard, right? 
Takashi 69 man, he made that shit mainstream. You know, and he blew up off of it. But what happened? Let me tell you what happened. You know, first of all, everyone had his back. You know what I mean? Hey, gang, gang, you know, I'm a, I'm a sangre, orale, you know what I mean? Treyway, and he was doing all that shit. And then he told on all his crime partners. He got caught up in a Fed case, and what did he do? He flipped. And it's a, it's well known. Everyone knows it's documented that this man decided he said it. And he said it. You know what I'm saying? Ah -ha, ah -ha, I'm going to tell on everyone. And he did that. Okay? That's fine and dandy. That's his decision as a man. Now he has to watch where he goes, what he does, and how he does it. You know, with the big old bodyguards and his chick with a big old bubble butt. But, I mean, he's winning right there. But, you know. Anyways, he's doing his thing. Okay? Um... But what makes you think, internet trolls, that you're him? Okay? Because he laid the format down. Because he put the yellow... He followed the yellow big road. Follow the pink and the green road. You know what I mean? Because he put that rainbow road out there, it seems like everybody wants to go. But let me tell you, at the end of that rainbow, homes ain't a pot of gold. There might be a unit time, but that's about it, right? But let me tell you, he's already got that locked down, bro. He already put out the recipe sauce again. He cooked that up. He cooked him a good batch, got everyone locked up, and he's doing his thing. Now, I'm not saying you can't be what you want to be, but if you want to aspire to be that, e pobre, si, vatos are going to have your head up your ass faster than Takashi can go to the feds and get fucked. I'm telling you right now, straight up off the rip, um, nothing with trolling, nothing with telling, nothing with being a mark like that comes good there is no good but do you see all the money he has got money ain't everything money's the root of all evil money doesn't make me happy what makes me happy is when the gente is happy when the rasa is coming together when i'm having those fucking lives and all the rasa from the north and the south are getting along and nobody's game banging that makes me happy okay not poisoning individuals and telling individuals they can't make it in life and telling individuals man you're a sucker come see me and telling individuals hey yeah you know what i got your address and telling individuals hey guess what man i heard your old lady's a transit none of that shit makes sense because at the end of the day you don't want to see nada that's a promise okay it sounds good man but look inside yourself go to the mirror right now get up puto. go to the mirror right now look in the mirror that fail, we already know, and tell yourself, damn, bro, these eyebrows are faded, right? You don't want that. And I'm not saying I'm the big Billy badass, Billy the Kid type individual, right? But you don't know who really who I am. Oh, I know who you are. I've seen your fight. You a sucker. Is that what you think, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll hold, right? You just never know, okay? And I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm somebody. Right? I'm just like anyone else here in YouTube Landia. Sass, right? What I am is a man trying to make it so I could feed my familia, so I could bless the gente with some education and show them and detour them from going to the pinta. I'm not trying to poison young Norteños away from the game. Man, do your thing, bro. I did that, man. Hey, righteously, my heart still burns with that fire for you. Sureños, righteously, I respect your get down, your stilo, and everything you're doing. So never once am I trying to slander anyone's character, defamation of character, or anything like that. And guess what? Sabasque, ding, 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 ding. Where are your fucking antennas? Pedro de Pacas, right? When I'm striving for my content, when I'm sitting down in the studio homes thinking of everything homes right off the dome right off the rip recording going putting all the money that i have into the hint that putting all the money i have into equipment so that i can elevate my stature within youtube right charlie bro you know i'm not sitting here recording uh so let's get hey oh watch it he smiled like this you know what i mean i'm gonna get that and i'm gonna flip it you know uh, is it worth it let me work it can i flip gun and flip it? is y'all with me this is where i'm at right now nah, i don't do that okay that's not me okay so I don't consider myself an internet troll. I don't consider myself that. I consider myself a motherfucker that'll clap back. If you come at me, I'm coming for you. They call me Mr. Stick a Fork in them. You know, people come at me and then later on in life, they're like, so I never even said nothing about you, girl. It was all good, huh? It was you that, nah, it wasn't me. Okay, I don't got time for frivolous games. I'm a 43-year-old man. You know what I mean? With children. I got children older than the guys that are trying to call me out. I got children older than the guys that are sitting there watching Unitorn and Rainbow movies. Okay, I don't, I, I ain't got time for that. What I got, but today, but today, today I got time. Cause what I have today, this shit right here. Oh yeah, this shit right here. What I have today, what I have going on today is the clapback. It's real, right? Today we're talking about internet trolls. 
okay? We're talking about these guys that take all their time out of the night, because, you know, they're on the beatbox, and all the time out of the day to focus on me, to focus on the gente around me, to focus on righteous, real gente that are getting up every day. They're welders, they're builders, they're people working at Burger King, trying to have it their way, serving people on burguesas y esprais, right? These people, though, are striving for the betterment of their fam familia and the betterment of themselves and you know what? I appreciate the hard work because everything is a reflection of me being raza, being Chicano and showing that our people are hard workers, right? As well as the Africano brothers and the Gavas. Everybody out there getting it, homes. Those are the people that I strive for, okay? I strive for people that are real, really righteously living and giving back to the community. What are you striving for, trolls? You know, you're striving for a couple dollars from YouTube. Let me tell you something about YouTube, homes. <laughs> They don't care about none of that, brother. You know, content creators is in a box, homes. That's what you limit yourself to, right? But you don't even create content. You go take other people's uh, uh, faces, other people's words, flip it, homes, and there's your content. <laughs> Guess what, puto? You're not a content creator. You don't have a channel. You're a. Hey, you know what I mean? You like you're not like me. You's a punk. You's a hey. Who's you been with? I've been with made people, connected people. You've been with job ass, Monaco motherfuckers, right? Which you are the leader of. Um, it's just a trip, right? And I know I'm being funny. I know I'm clowning and capping, just capping. But at the end of the day, man, I don't have frivolous time. And this is it. This is the one. This is this is why I finally did one. Internet trolls, right? This is the last time I'm going to clap back. This is it. This is what you get from me. If you want to flip this one, if you want to take it for whatever it's worth, that's fine, man. I'm just saying, Charlie Holmes, look within yourself. Deep in that itty bitty fucking black heart you have, right? Or that rainbow heart, whatever the whatever case may be. And um, think of yourself, bro. Think of the repercussions for your actions. Oh, man, you ain't about nothing. Who says it's me that's coming knocking at your door? You know? You want to mess with people's familias. You want to talk shit about people's streets and their gangs and their cities and their states. Sabes que? You... <laughs> There's a lot of people in Califas that are mad. They're highly upset. You know, don't upset the raza, you know what I mean? You get us pissed, we'll burn down this bit. You heard what fucking Pac said, Sabes que? It wouldn't be LA without Mexicans, black love, brown pride in the sets again, right? So when you're having states and, and, and gangs and and situations, group factions in your fucking walk out in your mouth, right? You need to think about what you're doing and what you're saying before you do it. You know, it's all fine and dandy to be on the keyboard, you know, talking all that shit, or even to pop in on someone's live and smile and, and oh, I ain't with all that, I ain't with all that. Then what are you doing there? You know, it's entertainment, bro. It's all about smiling. It's all about making people happy at the end of the day. And that's what it's all about. It ain't about woofing and I'll call you out and I want to fight you. Or, because if real motherfucking hitters pull up at your door, bro, guess what? Mom, tell them I'm not here. Tell them I'm not here. So scared to tell them. Tell them. That's the guy got her, right? Charlie, bro, I would never disrespect your familia to pull up at your front door, bro. I catch you slipping at Walmart, but so I scared. Hey, we got to clean up in aisle nine. What happened? I don't know. Somebody also with glasses just beat the shit out of Sabato with the mask and a funny ass tattoo on his hand. Uh, so I can't kill it. Hey, now there's another guy with a fucking afro running. Well, where do, you, where do you go? I don't know. Follow the drip. Follow the drip. You know what I mean? There's just things that happen in life. Okay? Never saying it would go that route. Never doing implications or nothing like that. Mm -mm. No, not me. Not for, oh, man, I'd be the booch down with a two by four. But at the end of the day, it could go that route with other people. If you tend to get brave behind the keyboard, okay? And this is just taking my situation. There's a lot of different situations that happen. There's a lot of different people that are going through trolling from the internet. You know, so what if a bato gets sick? So what if a bato has a disease like cancer or, or SIDA or whatever he may have? That's his business, bro. You're getting in a man's personal business. So what if a motherfucker's door gets kicked down? Hey, homes, you know what I mean? Let him deal with his pie. Let him deal with his thing, you know? Why do fucking people tend to think that it's going to earn up some clout by bringing that to the attention of people? Does that make them fake because someone kicked his door down? What if I kick your door down? Does that make you fake? You know what I mean? No. The, the situation that happens after is going to determine if you're fake or you're real. You know? And likewise, myself. Anyone could come kick my doors in. 
You know, and if they do, does it mean I'm, I'm fake? No, it means the situation got real and I got to get real. Okay, and that's just what that means. So think about it, internet trolls. This one's dedicated to you. This song's dedicated to you, homies, and your keyboard lean. Why did you? You know what I mean? So I was going to pour out a little liquor for the trolls. Let's stick a fork in this situation. Ain't no one ever going to break it down to you guys because there's no one really in real life to break it down to. Do yours. I'm going to continue to do mine and strive for the betterment of the people and the raza. For that social status of equality for all gente, north and south. Man, my brown people, because that's what I am. See, I'm really brown, bro. And I really know where I come from. And I really know what I'm about. And I really know the gente that I strive for. See, I'm not trying to be like someone else. I'm not trying to be on someone's pipote. So I got my own. It's pretty big. I'm, 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 I'm living. Right? So I ain't got to fucking go stretch someone else's out. But Sasuke, thank you, Trolls, for stretching mine out. It's it's pretty big now. Um, I was I was living, but now I'm really living. Um, But I understand, man. You feel like monetarily, man, that's the route to go. That's the way to go. That's the only way you know how to win because you have no content. You got to be like someone else. You got to use N-words. You got to disrespect gente. But Sasuke, be careful when you're using certain words because it's not disrespecting me, but it's disrespecting other people that fuck with me. Okay, and they feel a different way. I'm just trying to give you a heads up, man. At the end of the day, I can either give you a heads up or a tiger. Either way, man, get what you get and you got what you got, you know. Anyways, just want to rant a little bit. Talk about these internet trolls, people that are keyboard warriors, people that tend to talk a lot of masa but don't know how to make tamales. You know what I mean? Sounds good, but they sure look like they ate a lot. Anyways, hope that you guys strive for education. Hope that you guys are out there really doing it, gente. You already know what it is, man. At the end of the day, it's about moving fast with a purpose, man. That's called hustling. Go out there and get it for your gente, for your people, for your familia. That's what should matter to you, man. Not these keyboard warriors all up in your DMs talking about, hey, have you seen what Gunner did today? What do you do, homes? You know what I mean? Go see what your mom did. So, okay, she's probably in her room. Orale, the gun. Bang, bang. Fucking internet trolls. They're too much.